These are the same corporate CEOs and bankers who wrecked our economy, threw families out of their homes, wiped out the savings of millions, are trying to destroy our pensions, destroyed the Gulf, and now they seek to destroy us. And their plan to do it is from within, with the assistance of one, I, it's a shame that I have to say this, the president of the Carpenters. You know, he reminds me he is in cahoots with the wrong people. <laughs> Amen, brother. In my neighborhood, he was called the bully. The bully of the neighborhood. But in my neighborhood, we knew what he really was. He was the coward, the coward that hid behind all of his explanations and justifications to benefit himself, not working people, not as members, but himself, at the sake of the destruction of others. I would call it the Carpenters Union, but sadly, what was once a proud union, in my opinion, does not exist. It stopped being a union when its leadership, leadership stopped working for its rank and file. Their leader's concern is not for his member nor for working people. His only care is to serve the whims of the Wall Street titans, large contractors, who he hopes one day will let him in their club. He is not nor ever has been a trade unionist. A trade unionist is not one who is so frightened of his memberships that he takes the right to vote away from them, or one who turns his organization into a glorified temp agency, appoints his own hand-picked yes-men to dedicate to the rank and file, or to dictate to the rank and file, rather than to allow them to select their own representatives. And he's definitely, definitely, and I'll say it again and again, I know trade unionists. I'm looking at trade unionists. He is not a trade unionist. When he throws his support to the very people trying to destroy the livelihoods of the members he has sworn to protect by contracts and through contracts, that destroy wages and conditions so that he can achieve membership and more dues. Now think about that. I'll do your work for less. Hell, I'll do my own work for less. We'll do everything for less. Just give me more members so that I can have more money, more per capita, more greed, more power. That's senseless. That's not trade unionism where I come from. Now think about it. <clears throat> think about the, what the carpenter did when he sided with the anti-union groups like the Associated Building and Contractors and the National Right to Work Committee, helping to elect George W. Bush President of the United States. What kind of trade unionist is that? Another thing real change trade unionists don't do is they don't drive wedges between working people, especially when we need to be coming together rather than be driven apart. Now, don't be fooled. That is what our adversaries expected him to deliver, to help them cut us up with the hammer and the saw. They wanted to spark a race to the bottom and that affects each and every one of us and our families. And the carpenter that would force each of us to undercut each other and bid for more work. Their plan has failed. The proof is standing before me. The proof is in solidarity. Today, we are united together in solidarity. Today, we are not separate unions fighting each other like they wanted, but instead, 
one movement, standing shoulder to shoulder, arm in arm, marching for the cause of solidarity and the betterment of all working people. Some of you that know me know that I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. And Eugene Debs, a longtime hero of mine, once said, when we are in partnership as workers and have stopped clutching each other's throats, when we have stopped enslaving each other, we will stand together, hands clasped, and we will begin the march to the grandest civilization the human race has ever known. His words are true now as they were then. Our strength, the strength, same strength that makes metal stronger than wood, is our solidarity. Our enemies don't expect our solidarity to hold us, but it has. They say adversity makes you stronger. Never is that more true for us than right now. Today, we are all going on the offense. Today, we're going to show them what kind of sleeping giant they have awakened. God bless and thank you in solidarity.